This is the story of how Tony Delivers launched his food delivery service less than a month ago and is already at capacity with a very smart, free, completely free guerrilla marketing. I talked to, so here's what happened. Such a crazy story. I made a video about this guy, Tony. He started this thing called Tony Delivers. The video gets 212,000 views on TikTok, 30,000 views on Instagram. It's still going viral. They'll probably get several more hundred thousand views. And Tony sends me a message and he's like, hey, let's talk. And I just, I got so much out of this call. There's so much inspiration here. It's so smart what he did. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Tony, he's done Uber Eats for years as a delivery person. He has been doing delivery for Uber Eats for years. He studied psychology and soci sociology in college and then did Uber Eats delivery as a side gig for years in lots of different cities, Los Angeles, San Francisco, lots of different cities. And he's in Seattle and he sees a pain point with his competitors. And so he makes several iterations of this flyer that I'm about to read to you. This is what the flyer says. I can just read the flyer to you and you will understand his business because he makes it so simple. It's such simple and easy copywriting. So it's this piece of paper, ugly, purposefully ugly graphic design. And it says, angry with absurd Uber Eats fees and absurd is italicized. It's in red. Want your DoorDash delivery person to care about you and your food? DoorDash is in red. Ditch the apps and let me deliver your food for $5. And me is italicized and underlined. So he goes bold for bold and italicized for absurd and in red. DoorDash is just in red. Me is italicized and actually it's bolded too and is underlined. Ditch the apps and let me deliver your food for $5. One chicken bowl at Chipotle. DoorDash, $24.87. And it's an angry face. And then Uber Eats. $27.50. And it's a really angry face. And then Tony delivers $15.03. And it's a cool guy sunglasses face. And underneath that is a map. And it says, I deliver from any restaurant in this map to any destination in this map for $5. Then to the right is a cutout of Tony himself holding a delivery satchel. And then underneath that cutout is a QR code. So super simple. This makes it so easy. But this is the genius. So before I say how he distributed this brilliant flyer, I just want to break it down. It starts with this like emotional problem. You're angry, absurd Uber Eats fees. Then there's a, a clear no-brainer solution. I will deliver it for $5. Catchy name, Tony delivers. Tony's going to deliver. A clear value comparison, comparing DoorDash and Uber Eats prices to Tony. Clear a call to action, scan the QR code with your phone. And it's, it's just a great flyer. There's more marketing skill in this flyer than you will see in a lot of places. But the next part, the next part is the part that you don't see when people are sharing this flyer because this flyer itself is going viral because it's such a good flyer. But the thing is, people only talk about how brilliant the flyer is. Nobody knows the story behind the flyer. First of all, people don't know that this was six iterations and this is number five which was the winning iteration but people don't know how tony distributed the flyer and that's what what is so brilliant and so what i'm about to share i'm going to share how tony distributed the flyer and then what happened and you are going to hear and learn how the news cycle works most people don't know about this and that's because i had a call with tony this morning where tony explained all of this to me what actually went down so Tony hung this poster up 300 times, but he specifically picked around this is in Seattle. He specifically picked hanging it up around the Amazon offices in Seattle, the big domes. And he, he hung it up around there, around the spheres. He said to me on the phone, got to go to the heart of Amazon where the spheres are. It's going to pop off over here. That's what he said to me. So it took him three to four days to hang this up 300 times. And here's what happened with it. Literally within a couple of hours of him putting this up, it blew up on Reddit, on our Seattle. It's trending on the Seattle subreddit. And I asked him, I said, I said, from this alone, did your demand fill up right here? He's like, no, this is actually interesting. He said, no, because people didn't think it was true. People thought the offer was too good. They thought it was too good to be true. They, they didn't believe the offer was real, but somebody else saw the flyer in real life, not even from the Reddit post. This led to him having an interview 
So he has this interview. And then from this interview is how demand gets filled. Not immediately. Well, not from this interview. From this interview, someone sees the interview and then puts this on Instagram. And then somebody else puts this on Twitter. And they both go viral at the same time. Because th this is so just so few days after he actually put up the flyers. So he does this interview with somebody who saw the flyer in real life. From that interview, the poster gets put up on Instagram and somebody shares it on Twitter. The Twitter one I looked at, I want to read the, the Twitter post because the Twitter post says a lot. It explains a lot. So the Twitter post has 6.4 million views and the guy who posts it says, since this has been doing the numbers, shout out to our local weekly alternative newspaper, The Stranger, for informing me about this and the photo I shamelessly stole from their Instagram. There we go. So they put, they put the, the photo on Instagram and then this guy sees it and uses it on Twitter and they blow up simultaneously. And then a few days later, after both of these are going viral, a few days after that, his capacity is full, completely full. He needs a faster bike. That's what he told me. So this is pretty much within a week of launching and by launching, hanging up flyers. But it continues to get crazier. So, okay, now we're at like step one, which is his demand is full. It's a local business. It's just him. He's delivering the, the food. Step two and he doesn't realize this. Step two is he's getting, I talk about search engine optimization all the time on the show. He is starting to get tons of valuable backlinks, tons of super authoritative websites linking to Tony Delivers. So this is what I'm going to talk about next. It's like a week in now, his demand is at capacity and everything starts happening just super simultaneously. This guy, Chris Baca, shares him. That gets a million views on Twitter. Then Sean Purry puts this in his newsletter. I subscribe to Sean Purry's newsletter. It's called Small Boy. It's a great newsletter, small, smallboy.co. And actually, Sean did that breakdown that I read about the flyer. Sean gave that breakdown. So I take that breakdown. I use that breakdown in my video, and the video goes viral. But there's more happening. He has an interview tomorrow in the Seattle Times, this weekend, Business Insider, then Morning Brew. He's taking every interview that, that comes his way. Every, he's talking to every journalist talking to every influencer. He wants to be on the field as much as possible. And while he's doing this, he's also delivering. He's working 16 hour days. He's delivering in the rain and he posts videos about it. He created accounts. So my video linked to his account on Instagram. And then on TikTok, he comments on the video that's going really viral. And everyone loves that he's in the comments and he's getting so many followers because of that. And I asked him, I said, what are you going to turn this into? He's still figuring it out. He's already starting to rank on Google. He's coming up for keywords that have alternative in them. So alternative to competitors already without even trying. Not high and not a lot and not intentionally, but it's already starting because the, the SEO power is real. He's just getting so many valuable backlinks and he doesn't realize it. So I want to tell you what I told him because he, has, he had no idea. Most people, they know nothing about SEO. They don't know that if something goes viral and they get tons of backlinks, that immediately makes that URL super valuable. So many people will go viral and it'll be really exciting. They'll, they'll be in the hype. And for a few weeks, a few months, it's crazy. And then it dies. I've been global viral before. I've been global viral several times. I've been on TV shows. I was on Good Morning America in 2020 on the Today Show. I've been on so many different TV shows and people will be like, NBC flew me out to Los Angeles to be on a daytime TV show because of one of our viral videos. But these things die. And what happens to a lot of people is when they die, they give up. And then they just stop paying for the domain. They give up on the business and they stop paying for the URL. It's not really getting traffic because they haven't done SEO and they don't know anything about it. They just give, give up. They don't even sell the URL. They don't even know to do that. They just let it expire. And then someone who's smart claims it redirects it to a similar page, 301 redirects it to a similar page, gets the SEO link juice and uses it to rank for tons of different keywords. And so what I told him is you can pretty much do anything in the food and beverage space now because you have such high and increasing domain authority. He is thinking of starting a subscription business with Tony Delivers, but there's so much more that he can do. He can target bottom of funnel keywords for any business in the food and beverage niche. And he didn't know that. And I told him that on the call, or he can sell the domain for a lot of money. 
but he can use it to very quickly rank. So here's why this story blew my mind. Here's why I love this story. Step one of this story is going from zero to 100 with something completely new, pretty much for free in under a week. Zero to 100, fully at capacity in under a week with just smart, very smart marketing makes this cheap flyer, puts it up in the places where people who will care about it will see it and puts it up a lot. It's just his own manpower. Spends three to four days putting up this thing. And as he hoped, the right people see it. And two of these right people, first it goes viral on Reddit. Then another per person who sees it interviews him. And from that interview, he ends up in a big Instagram post and in a big Twitter post. And then a few days later, he's at capacity. But it keeps going because now for the people who know stuff about SEO, now he gets so many backlinks, so many valuable backlinks from some of the biggest publications in the world. And this allows him to target so many different use cases and keywords around alternatives to competitors in his industry, which makes him so much more valuable. And now he can launch so many more things where he can just keep the business going through this by targeting keywords around this. Keywords, of course, are search terms, SEO link juice. You, you need backlinks to rank on Google. And that's, that's what happens. It's such a great story. And it's only the beginning. This is month one for Tony Delivers. So if you want to see that, that flyer, you can search Tony Delivers poster. My video, you can watch that on my TikTok or Instagram. The video came out two days ago. And you can go to TonyDelivers.co to see Tony's website. I hope this episode inspired you as much as it inspired me. I'm sure this is not the last time I will talk about this. This is episode 240 of my daily growth hacking, growth marketing podcast, what Tony did, crazy growth hack, and the growth marketing is about to, it's about to start for him. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.